You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough, except when I've had enough. But there's lots of fun stuff. I'm Caillou was excited because he and his family were going on a trip to the mountains. As soon as I finish the dishes, we have to pack. Then we can leave. Whoa, these suitcases were sure well hidden. Here's your suitcase, Caillou. Caillou was pleased to have his very own suitcase. Only big boys have suitcases. I want to pack my suitcase now. Well, the sooner we pack, the sooner we leave. No, Daddy, I can do it. Here, these buckles can be tricky. There. Caillou was amazed oh. at the inside of the suitcase. There were all sorts of places to put things. He couldn't wait to put all his things in it. Do we have enough diapers for Rosie? Oh no, I forgot to go to the store. I'll go right away. I won't be gone long. When I get back, I'll help you pack your suitcase, okay? Okay, but hurry up. couldn't go on vacation without his favorite teddy bear or his favorite dinosaur. Caillou thought he was forgetting something important. But what? Caillou, could you come and get your swimming gear, please? There's no room. Caillou didn't know what to do. He couldn't seem to find a way to get everything to fit in the suitcase. It won't close. Caillou tried with all his might, but he couldn't get the suitcase to close. Something would have to come out. He just couldn't decide what to take out of his suitcase. He wanted to bring all his favorite things on the trip. What are you doing, Caillou? I'm packing my suitcase, but it doesn't work. Well, it sure looks like you put a lot of thought into what you wanted to bring, and that's very important. But I think you packed too many toys. We're only going away for a weekend, so you should only pack what you need. What are you going to wear when we go for a walk in the woods? Mommy helped Caillou pack the things he needed for the trip. And of course, they didn't forget to pack a few of Caillou's favorite things. Mommy, wait! We forgot Teddy! We really need all of that? I'm sure we have more than enough. Mommy says to only pack what you need. <laughs> and she's right. Maybe we don't need this one. Caillou helped Daddy pack the car with just what they needed for their trip. And it was a perfect fit. Try, try again. All week, Caillou had been waiting to go to the beach. And finally, Saturday had arrived. Come on, Caillou. The sooner you're finished your breakfast, the sooner we can get going. Okay, Mommy. Uh-oh. Here, Daddy, can you blow this up? Finished! Let's go! All right. Why don't you grab what you want to bring from your bedroom? I want to wear my new running shoes. Okay. Caillou, are you sure you want to bring all these toys to the beach? Yes, Mommy. Can you tie my shoes? 
Because we gotta hurry. You're getting to be such a big boy. How would you like to learn how to tie your own shoes? Okay. Here, I'll show you. First, we put one lace over the other and pull. Then we make a loop, which we call a tree. And this other lace is the rabbit. A rabbit? Really? Sure. He runs around the tree and down his hole. And see, your shoe is tied. Okay, now you try. First, one lace over the other. Mm-hmm. Now make the tree. That's the rabbit. Now where does he run? It's too hard. Do you want to try it once more? Caillou didn't feel like trying anymore. He preferred to put on his old shoes with the straps. He was very good at putting on those shoes. No, I like my old shoes. Here we go, Rosie. Off to the beach. Here, Daddy. Can you watch Rosie while I put these in the car? Okay. Uh, Mommy, my foot hurts. That's because you've outgrown those shoes. Here, let's put on the new ones. You know, it's okay you didn't figure out how to tie your shoes the first time. You could try again when you feel like it. I know, Mommy. All right, Rosie, let's get some sunblock on you. I wouldn't want you to get a sunburn. And you're next, Caillou. Ah, a nice relaxing day at the beach. What could be better? Let's play catch, Daddy. Okay. No, wait. I want to fly my kite. That's a great idea, Caillou. No, I want to play baseball. Okay, baseball it is. Whoa! Oh, no! <laughs> I fell, Daddy! <laughs> I can see that. Are you okay? Let's play! Hold on, here's why you tripped. Your shoelaces are untied. I can tie my own shoes. Mommy showed me. That's great. Can you show me? Sure. Um, this is the tree. And uh, the rabbit climbs the tree and then goes around like this. Oh, it didn't work. Hmm. As I remember it, the rabbit runs around the tree and goes down his hole. Why don't you give it another try? Caillou couldn't remember how Mommy showed him to tie his shoe. He wanted his Daddy to do it for him. Help me, Daddy. Caillou decided to build the biggest sandcastle ever. He wanted to show Mommy and Daddy what a big sandcastle he could build. Rosie, do it! And Caillou wanted to show his little sister all about building a big sandcastle. You fill the pail with sand, pat it down, and turn it over. Ooh! See? Now you try, Rosie. Uh-huh. I'll do it. No! Caillou couldn't understand why Rosie refused his help. He wanted her to listen to him. Ready? Go! It's flying! I don't think there's enough wind right now. Perhaps if we try it again in a little while. No, Mommy. One more time, please. All right, one more time. Go! Go, go! It's flying, it's flying! Look, Mommy! Very good, Caillou. You were right to keep trying. Come on, Rosie, let's go to the car, okay? Caillou! 
Time to go. Okay, Daddy. Uh-oh. The rabbit goes around the tree. Uh-oh, someone's dawdling. I'll get him. Be back in a second. Then the rabbit goes down the hole. Hey, Caillou, we've got to get going home. <laughs> My shoe came undone. Why don't you let me tie them and then you can practice in the car? No, Daddy, I want to do it. Okay, how about I help you? The rabbit goes around the tree and down his hole. Okay, now pull. Caillou, I knew you could do it if you just kept trying. Caillou was feeling very proud, even though he couldn't do it all alone. He had finally succeeded in tying his shoe. The New Leaf. Where's Grandpa? He'll be here soon, Caillou. Caillou was very impatient for Grandpa to arrive. Today, Grandpa, Caillou, and his daddy were going for a walk in the woods. Grandpa's here! Hi, Caillou! Hi, Grandpa! Ready for our hike in the woods? Daddy! Grandpa's here! Hi, Dad. Would you like a cup of coffee before we go? Come on! <laughs> I don't think we have time. Looks like someone's in a hurry to get going. Caillou didn't know it yet, but this was going to be a very special walk in the woods. Come on, Caillou. When your dad was a little boy, we'd go walking in the woods every fall, just before all the leaves fell to the ground. And then we'd play a little game. What game? Your dad and I would try and catch a falling leaf before it touched the ground. Why? What's well, a family tradition, Caillou? It's something that you do with your family every year. Are you ready to give it a try? Here, I'll show you. My turn! Caillou thought leaf catching was a great game and looked up at the treetops for another falling leaf. There, Caillou! Nice try! Don't be disappointed, Caillou. Let's try our luck a little further up the path. Oh. Daddy! My boot stuck! Come on, you two. There's a wind stirring up. Might be plenty of leaves to catch soon. Here they come. Caillou wanted to catch a leaf, too, so he did exactly like Grandpa and Daddy. <laughs> Got one! Caillou didn't exactly catch a falling leaf. This game was much harder than he thought it would be. <laughs> Can we try again? Absolutely. We have to keep trying until we catch the perfect leaf. Caillou tried and tried again. He wouldn't stop until he caught a leaf. And he wanted it to be the nicest leaf ever. But he was tired. And he thought he would never catch a leaf until... I got one! I got one before it touched the ground! Caillou had caught the most beautiful leaf he had ever seen. I'm proud of you, Caillou. You caught your very first leaf. Let's put it in the scrapbook. I'm going to keep it forever. Can we do it again next year, Daddy? We sure can. It's a tradition, remember? Happy New Year! Caillou and Rosie were having breakfast one morning. And Rosie wanted her tiger to have breakfast, too. Oh, 
Oh, well, since you're so good at feeding that tiger, why don't you give our big tiger his breakfast as well? Our big tiger? <laughs> Gilbert! Caillou loved feeding Gilbert. Gilbert? I think he went outside. It wasn't Gilbert. It was Sarah's cat, Ollie. Ollie, that's Gilbert's food. That's the second time you've done that this week. Can you take Ollie home, please? And see if you can find Gilbert. Okay. to our house and tried to take Ollie's food. We were bringing him home. Ollie tried to take Gilbert's food. <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert? <laughs> Ollie? <gasps> Caillou, this is my cousin Lee Wan. Hello. Hello. Lee Wan's staying with us for Chinese New Year. Caillou had never heard of Chinese New Year's before. It's the year of the tiger. A tiger? We call the New Year the year of the tiger. But there isn't really a tiger. There is a dragon, though. A real dragon? Yes, we're going to see it tomorrow. Would you like to come with us to see the dragon? At first, Caillou wasn't sure if he wanted to see a real dragon. Yes! Caillou was excited that he was going to see a real dragon with Sarah and Lee Wun. What is it? It's to wish you lots of happiness in the new year. And that one is to wish you a long, long life. You want to help me put it up? Mom, Caillou said he wanted to see the dragon tomorrow. Is that right? Would you like to come with us to Chinatown, Caillou? What's that? It's where the dragon lives. I'll give your mommy a call and ask her if it's okay then. Did you clean your room, Sarah? Yes, mommy. We have to clean the whole house from top to bottom for the new year. Why? I don't know. We just do. Did you get a special New Year coin today? Lee Wood felt sorry for Caillou because he didn't get a special New Year coin and asked Sarah if they could give him one. Sure. Caillou had never seen a special New Year coin before. Happy New Year! Shina Yaha! Tigers. <laughs> Are you excited about going to Chinatown with your friends, Caillou? Yes, Mommy. Caillou was excited about going with his friends, but he was also a bit nervous about seeing a dragon. He wasn't so sure if he wanted to go anymore. You must be a bit scared about seeing a dragon, so I thought you would like the story about the big friendly dragon. That was one of Caillou's favorite stories. Once upon a time, there was a big friendly dragon who lived in a forest. All of his friends would gather around and they would 
The next day, Caillou went to Chinatown with his friends for a special New Year's meal. Would you pass me the jayatsi, please? Could you pass them again, please? <laughs> How would you two like some more Tang Yong? Yes! Here it comes. Go ahead, honey. Here are your Jayatsi. <laughs> that was pretty clever, Mom. I thought so, too. You can use your fingers. What's that? That means the dragon's coming! The dragon's coming! The dragon's coming! Wow! Oh, you loved seeing the New Year dragon, and he wasn't scared at all because it was a friendly dragon. Yeah.